Hey everybody! Alright, so today I'm going to do very basic um, how to put on a wig video. Um, so to first start off with, I have really short hair and the reason I wear wigs is because I have very bad um, just genetic hair loss at a young age. Um, as you can see, I have very, very thin around top of my head and then all around is very thin. So. Um, it did not always have this short of hair. I cut it off um, kind of recently um, and I used a different method which I'm going to show. It's just not going to be as literal since it's not. I, I had hair about down to my shoulders but it was very thin and, and ratty so there's really no sense in keeping it since I'm wearing wigs full time now. So um, the first way that you can wear a wig is with um, just a regular nude wig cap. And if you have long hair or short hair, you really just want to try to get all of your hair in there the best way that you can. Um, I normally start just putting it right on top and then using my fingers to really put the hair underneath or taking a rat tail comb, picking up the wig cap a little bit and kind of shoving it under sometimes is the best way to do it because sometimes if you do it too much with your fingers it just ends up coming back out again so alright wig cap is on and then I'm gonna use um, my first uh, full lace wig and I'm gonna do a review on this one as well um, did I say that right my first front lace wig I don't know if I said that right um, this is a wig by Lord and Cliff and has a fair amount of lace but not a ton so alright so how I put on a wig, I take it so that the front or the top of the wig, which is going to end up right here, is facing me. And I put my hands down in it and kind of make it large like this, using my thumbs to go to the top and um, my fingers to the back. Sorry, I got my clip just or my adjustable strap just moved. All right, so I do this. I put my head down. I take the wig and I move it on back and I first put my back comb in first and then I start moving the wig back to where I want it to be. Now this is an old synthetic wig. Um, it actually still looks really good and I like this one a lot. Uh, but more recently, um, to work, I've been wearing my longer wigs and my full lace wig. And uh, this one, it got to the point where it needs to be flat ironed every day and just kind of did got sick of doing that every single day. So, But I still have her and I love her. So I get it on my head. And she's tangled in the back. Like I said, I had to straight iron her every day. So if I was going to go out in this wig today or, t or tonight, um, I would definitely have to um, flat iron her. So, alright. So here she is. Wig is on. Pretty easy. It's not that difficult. Um, one thing I do want to show you, and this is just for, to be drastic. Do you see where my wig cap starts? And the lace starts about here. So... I like wig caps, but I have a horrible shaped head for them. I really do. And I find that that right there does not look very natural for me. And I have a weird, I have a like a widow's peak. So it's hard for me to put the wig cap on and have it look natural and have it um, be in the right spot for me so that it looks natural. So, all right. So we're going to take the wig off. What I do, <clears throat> take it from the, the two corners here, pull it off and then bring it around. Okay, so now I'm going to show you the way that I used to wear this wig to work just because this is how I felt most comfortable with it. What I do is I know that my natural part is right about here so I take my rat tail comb and I make a part in my hair right in that same spot. Now if you have long hair get a bunch of these clips. That's just what worked for me. Um, they're just the snap kind. You take your hair. I don't need to do this now because my hair is so long, but this is what you would do if your hair was, was um, longer. Kind of clip the hair down to your head. And I have more of these around here. Okay. Do the same thing on the other side. 
And then what I did in the back is I would gather the hair together, take my finger down, and then bring the hair up if it was long. And then I'd take these and I would clip it in the back so that the hair was up and out of the way. And then it also creates a little bit of a ledge for the comb to go into. So I'm gonna show you what the back of the head looks like. So you can see, if you had long hair, you would follow this all the way up here and you could, you could um, clip in all of your hair. Um, and I would even almost say to do that if you um, were putting it under a wig cap, I did that as well sometimes, just because my hair would go all over the place when it was longer. So you can do that. Now, same wig, same method, bucket, bring it down, adjust it to where it fits for you, and look at that. Does that not look like my natural hairline? That just looks like scalp underneath there, and that's essentially what it is because my hair is so thin and you can just see the part underneath through the lace, so it doesn't require a special wig cap. Um, yes, I do have to wash my wigs a little bit more because my oils are then going directly onto the wig, but I just felt like it, it was so much more natural and it um, was more comfortable for me in the long run. So um, that's how I put on my wigs. Um, if you've got, you guys have further questions or comments, let me know. Um, and I'll be doing a wig review on this wig because she's beautiful um, in just a little bit here. So, all right, guys. Bye.